Hi, welcome to Clover Training. In this video, you'll learn about managing categories and inventory items. So to begin, we want to get to our main setup menu, and we can get there in one of two ways. Uh, from this home menu, we can select here, setup, or uh, another way to do it is up here in the top right hand corner. If we click on that, you'll also see setup and it takes you to the same menu. And once we get to the setup screen, we're going to select inventory. And then once we get to the inventory screen, you're going to see on the left hand side here that we have inventory and modifiers. And the top row, you're going to see all the categories along the top. And then down here we have uh, add item, category, edit category, remove category. And then what this shows is what items are in this category. And the blue line right there represents uh, that, that uh, category is selected. If I select nachos, these would be the items in the, in the nachos category. Okay, so we're going to begin by adding a category and you just come up here and you click on that and we're going to create a vegetarian category and we're just going to abbreviate it by V-E-G-E-T and we're going to click add and so now we have right there there's the vegetarian category and you can see right now there's no items in it but we're going to go ahead and add some items now so we're going to hit add item and we have two options we can actually add items that are already in inventory which we can scroll through here and there's also down here we can add a new item. We're going to go ahead and add an existing item and we're going to add this vegetarian tostada. And if I click here, you're going to see there it is. And we're going to add one more item while we're here, since we can. And let's see, we have a vegetarian taco. So let's go ahead and do that. And if we select vegetarian, and now we have our two items. But what if we're going to add a new item to our menu? So we're going to go ahead and add item again, but this time we're going to hit add new item. And we're going to type in bean burrito. Below that, you can see the alternate item name line, which is used if you'd like to have a different language print on the kitchen printer. We're going to go ahead and type in the Spanish equivalent. Next will be price, which we're going to set at $1.35. There are three options here, fixed, variable, and per unit. Fixed means the price is always the same when that menu item is selected. Variable, which means a price will have to be entered each time it's selected, and per unit, meaning the price is set by the ounce or the pound. We'll keep ours at fixed. The next line is the product code, typically used for barcodes, and we'll leave that empty. Clover will automatically assign a product code if nothing is entered. The next line is taxes with the options being default and custom. You can learn more about setting taxes on help.clover.com. We're going to leave this set on default. And to finish, we're going to tap add item. Now let's go over to vegetarian and now we see we have three items. We have our tostada, our taco, and now our new bean burrito. And something to show you here is uh, what we can also do is we can organize our menu items. So we see our menu items here, but say we want this bean burrito at the very beginning because we saw a lot of those. So we'll just click the arrow button and that moves it across to where we want it. So we've added our bean burrito to our vegetarian category, but we'd also like to have this bean burrito, of course, in our burritos category. And if we look here, we see we, we, can, we should add it. So we're going to click on add item and we're just going to scroll through, find our bean burrito and select it. And there it is. So seriously, we've added the bean burrito uh, to our burritos. Let's say we wanted to remove an item from our category. And there's actually um, two ways to remove an item. One is to remove it from this category, but also to remove this item completely from your inventory. So when we're in the um, category menu section, so when we have these selected for these items, you only have one option for your items, and that is remove from category. And so if you wanted to, we're just going to remove this from our category, and now that crazy eight burrito is gone. Um, say it was a specialty item, maybe it was like a summer special. But say, um, but it's going to be in our inventory. So if we come over here to all items, and we scroll up and we're going to still see that our crazy eight burrito is still in our inventory. Let's just say we've that item is now no longer being used and we want to remove that from our uh, inventory. So we just select it 
and now we're going to remove this item and this is going to be removed permanently from our inventory so you might want to think about that remove item and now if we go back to all items we'll see that our crazy eight burrito is gone and this concludes our training on categories and inventory if you need any more additional assistance with clover please go to help.clover.com